Hi Pisces, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm doing the next six to seven months reading, seven months actually, because I'm doing this in May instead of June and because I thought, well, we, I've done the yearlies and it was all unexpected what is uh, what happened with the Covid virus. So I thought let's do an update and see what the next seven months will be. Will they be better? And you can compare it to the yearly. <coughs> so I've done one card for each month and I've done a clarification card for each month. And that will be that. And I've done four uh, oracle cards and the bottom of the deck as the theme cards. I've put one uh, task card in and I'm going to leave you with an idea or a task or with a question and see what you can do with that. Perhaps you can contemplate about that, you can focus on that or meditate on that or it might get you to the next step of what you wish for. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then please go and look below the video and <coughs> if you're new then please subscribe and hit the bell. And you can also find more information in this little white dot that will take you to the website. Okay, thank you very much for coming back and uh, coming to the live sessions. Um, as I do go live a few times per week, usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But if something comes in between, then I'm sorry and I can't notify you. I, I do sometimes in the community. Um, but uh, you sh I found that people do not follow me in community. So then it's no use leaving a message behind because then nobody will get that or get notified. Okay. Um, and if you do want to get notified, then when you click the bell, click on all. That's in the new system. So Pisces, to begin with, you have the eight of fire. So things might be happening rapidly in June. Uh, you will definitely get messages, boom, 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 and that's what I'm hearing. So it might be through email, it might be through telephone, it might be through email paper or text message. Things will be happening rapidly and quickly. You might even be traveling in June or taking a break. You have the nine of wands upside down. Now this is what it looks like and he's a, a cat that is being hurt and he's got a bandage and he's tired and he's hurting. Look at the way he's cr um, come together sitting here. He's, uh, how do you say that? Um, he's coming together because he's holding on tightly because of the pain and the tiredness. He's trying to keep going because the last steps are the heaviest steps because a nine means an ending and a new beginning yes but it's upside down so the ending is not in sight yet whatever happen uh, is happening with you and um, that means that um, the ending is not here quite yet so hold on but you do need to take time out I think that is one of the messages so if you are at home try to relax and don't worry that new beginning is coming now in July you have the strength card you are stronger than you think you are look at that beautiful garden now if you haven't got a garden and you do have a dog then you can go out go out into the park or even on the roadside sometimes you have dikes and canals or channels Perhaps you can find a restful place where you can sit down with your dog and just enjoy nature. So be patient. That is what strength means. Be patient. Be gentle. Be loving. And you will heal everything that is happening to you and perhaps somebody else. Because the strength card is usually the maiden that has patience and love and to overpower the lion with love and patience and that's when the lion lets us stroke his manes <coughs> and the strength card obviously 
also means Leo. So there might be um, an issue with you and Leo Pisces. So perhaps you need to calm down a Leo. Perhaps it is not you that's hurt or being stressed, okay? Perhaps your gentle words and patience and guidance um, will um, help him or her to stay strong. Tell them that they are stronger than what they think. They are survivors, especially cats. And that could be the one of the messages. So a Leo might get into contact with you. He, they cannot keep balance. But you can. You are trying to keep balance. As you've got the two of pentacles. Or you might be very much so in your mind. Or they might be, as this is also relating to somebody else, that you are the... <coughs> you are my querence, so you are the maiden in this card, taming the lion. <laughs> and so you might be balancing your finances or your home life and your work life, and you're wearing all kinds of hats, okay? Look at the boats. The boats are coming in, but you might be too much in your head. Things are going round and round. So stop doing that. Stop um, stressing as well, uh, perhaps about this person. Stop worrying. Everything will land on two feet. Like a cat, a cat always lands on his four paws. In August, you have the Six of Sky. And Sky is the swords. And that means you are moving away, definitely in August, from rough waters to quieter waters. So there are, might be big changes for you in uh, August. You might go on holiday. You might be moving home. You might be crossing water. But you're moving away from difficult times. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got the Queen of Swords. Something will become clear. The Queen of Swords is Libra. And Libra obviously is like the justice, the card of justice. Um, so justice will be done if you're in a judicial situation. Okay. But it could also be a Gemini or an Aquarian. These people, this queen, um, is uh, has her emotions under control. Okay. And they cut straight through, through to the core as they stand for wisdom, communication, and justice, clarity and honesty. Somebody might stand you by that is a person of justice or a Libra or a, an other air sign. They cut straight through to the core and get the uh, honesty, the truth out for you. So you might seek advice from an air sign. It could be with um, finding out if you're in a judicial situation. It could be um, about uh, the situation at hand. Or if you are moving home, because the Six of Swords means moving home or going on holiday, you might be finding out the le uh, finalizing the legalities in August. If you are going in Holland uh, on holiday, then uh, do you need a... Uh, um, um, how do you call it? Uh, uh, an injection? Uh, a serum against COVID virus? Are you allowed to travel? Do you need visa? What is the reason for travel? Or what reasons are you allowed to travel um, in August? Because they are talking about it now here in May. Some companies are already um, guaranteeing COVID-19 uh, free, uh, guaranteed free holidays. That means that this is an idea of a company and I won't mention, I won't advertise here for anybody else but it is a well-known company here in Europe and um, what you can do is you can travel, you'll get checked whether you have COVID-19 at the airport and you'll get checked uh, when you land as well and you'll be taken to a holiday resort or hotel and you'll have to stay there all the way through your holiday. People are trying to make people more hel uh, hopeful. So don't give um, up bec with if this is you 
or whether it's somebody else because people are mm, getting new ideas every uh, time every minute so perhaps you might be going on holiday or have to b do business travel but you might you might have to search for clarity do more research in September you have the star so that means that your wish or goal is coming true you have reached you've navigated through to where you want to be and your wish is coming true and you've got the seven of cups and that's always what I say when you've got the seven of cups the card of dreams goals longings wishes make a pro and cons list and see which wish which goal w can come true much quicker that will motivate you to and go on to the next goal or the next dream. Now, <coughs> if this is June, July, August, September, October, you have the three of fire. Your plans are coming to fruition. Usually you see a man standing and gazing out to sea or in front of him and you see boats coming in. But this little dog is coming home. He's going to come in and tell everybody, the family, the neighbours, where he's been and what he's done and he's had success. Your boats of abundance have come in. It could be um, that you've found a job, you've had a promotion, whatever. And let's see what this is. This is the Knight of Chalices. Like I said, a job. You, the Knight, this is the Knight of Chalices, the Knight of Cups. So you might be coming home and saying you're engaged or you've got a new job offer or a promotion like I said. The Knight of Cups is a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces that you might have hooked up with or that you might have met. Um, but you will be getting news and it could be an offer or it could be an offer of passion or of love. Again, ooh, I'm so glad that this is lying upside down. This is the line of sky. The dog is trying to sleep and look at all those sharp points like the swords. He's lying in the cave and there's thunder in the background. He is worried and he cannot sleep but he's trying to rest. But now he is asleep because the card is upside down. There is an ending um, but not quite yet. It is coming and he knows. He is worried but he knows it is safe to sleep. The new beginning is coming. Okay? Because here your boats are or have come in of abundance. So that means that if something is coming in, that is a finish. They might not have reached the harbour yet, but they're coming. You can see them. So you are less worried and you can sleep there will be celebrations so I think there will be um, and there will be a new beginning even before the month is out in November you've got the three of cups now in December you have the eight of sky and that's the eight of swords perhaps you might feel lost in uh, for in a certain way because you've got this abundance is it love is it a job? Do you want to stay in a job? Perhaps you don't know about that. Or perhaps you don't know how to carry on or get promoted or get recognition so that you can grow with the firm. You want security. Everybody does and everybody wants guarantees but nowadays nothing is a guarantee because things are changing. So you're, it, my idea is go with the flow. Go with the flow. You've got the um, night of chalices here and you've got your boats coming in and boats go with the flow okay you can navigate them because you've got the star you can navigate to where you want to go like I said so be gentle just don't be in your head take the blindfold off and see where you can jump this dog knows he can jump he looks a bit old but you can still take that jump that leap of faith it's not the fool, but you can take the leap of faith so long you get out of your head and dare to do it. 
now you've got the four of cups <coughs> well this is a beautiful card explaining the eight of sky the eight of swords the four of cups means that you're daydreaming you're just staring in front of you you're too much in your head or you're depressed well, don't be depressed it is December and it's going to be Christmas again it is thank Thanksgiving has just been so the party time is going to start I know it might not feel like party time we might have to do it again without family or friends but let's pray and let's meditate and shift the energy like we did in um, April or March there were global man um, meditation and it shifted the energy so stay with the program join that global energy in shifting get out of your head and see what you can do take that offer that is in front of you or rather behind you have a look be more aware of what's happening around you there is an offer it might be a promotion you did get news in um, October you had an offer then perhaps it wasn't the right time for you and you waited until December or wasn't the right time for your boss now the card underneath the deck you've got the magician you can make it happen so if you don't want to do it in October say to the boss can we talk about it again in December so that you can f talk about it with family and friends or seek advice you've got all the talents and the knowledge the gifts of the gab um, within you and around you so use your tools don't be disillusioned and don't create illusions or disillusions okay stay firm stay uh, in the real world with your four feet on the ground now he's got one little leg on uh, up raised up so put that leg down and be firm <coughs> and underneath this card you've got the ace of sea again water so there is an, a new emotional beginning like I said in October you might ha get an offer of love or a job offer and underneath the magician you've got the ace so it could be something that you love to do but you're not ready to do in October will come to fruition in no December but stay with the program and again you've got the ace of cups so not only under the mag uh, ma magician but right on top of the cat's tarot okay so there is definitely an emotional new beginning it could be with somebody but it could also be something that you're longing or wishing to do so your wish is coming true and that is confirming it okay beautiful so don't despair don't give up hope in June or July this could be the COVID virus stopping you from having what you want so don't give up just continue be happy join into that global energy of meditation and praying and healing set the intention to receive and set the intention to give whilst you're meditating because your meditative energy will go out into the universe and will be part of the universe and its overall energy practice your generosity well it doesn't cost you any money it just costs you a little bit of your energy whilst you're regaining your energy because meditation is relaxation okay and it, you, it might cost you energy but it will give you triple energy if not more back and look at the <coughs> uh, rainbow heaven and earth is joined together so be part of that energy extend some kind of unexpected generosity to someone preferably a stranger every single day for two weeks the more you practice being generous the more you impact others in an inspiring way just say good morning to a stranger in the morning and when you're going home you might be traveling with a public, trans public transport but you can also do it when you're in the garden and shout out to your neighbor hello neighbor 
or to ever, wherever. If you if you haven't got a garden, you can always say hello to somebody you meet when you go out to get your dailies, like the newspaper, bread and milk. Now you've got the anchor from the Lenormand. <coughs> Water is quite prominent. The pictures are, anyway, in your reading. And you've got the anchor, number 35. And number 35 becomes a number 8, and that's the money, the house of money and strength. And you do have the card of strength. So you are, you will m m definitely know what you want. You've got a yes to an answer. You're coming home to a safe haven, and you're putting down your anchor there. It's also the nine of spades, because you've got the nine of swords here, the nine of spades. So <coughs> this one is upside down, and this one is in the right way up. So that's the nine of swords. So you are in balance, but you must believe it. Have faith in yourself and take part of the uh, uh, practice of generosity, the global energy. And you will feel safe and you will put down your anchor and you'll stay there. Even if you uh, have the six of sky, you will go to a safe place if that is your question. <coughs> Now at the beginning of the video I said I've got a card and I will ask you a question about that. Well first of all we can't all afford a boat and we can't all afford to have sailings lessons S but if you do have a boat then you know what freedom is. My question is do you want a boat? Would you like a boat? Would you like sailing lessons? What does this picture mean to you? Does this picture mean togetherness, competition, or going with the flow, or going with the wind on the water, going with the wind but on water in your own vehicle? You can choose to be one of the group, or you can be you choose to be isolated because you've got your own little boat. Now think about that. When you meditate, you can think about this question. You can replay the video and write down the questions and see whether you can answer them. What can you do with this card? Do you feel one of the crowd, but isolated on your own little rock or your own little boat? Can you go with the flow? Just have a look. What does this card mean to you? I'm not going to say what I think about it. I'm giving it to you, Pisces. And calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bringing you together. Now if you are already hooked up, a soulmate can also be a best friend. If you would like to have a soulmate, a best friend for life, if you're a man this could be a buddy, if you're a lady then this could be um, a best friend for life. And well, somebody that you can do girly talk with and if you're a man to do matey stuff with like going to the football matches or going to uh, a tennis club or whatever going to the sailing club perhaps you want matey well the word matey comes from the people that um, are on in the marines all right mates you've got the first mate okay so the, uh, your, your reading, Pisces, is really water. It's You're connected with water and you need water to feel free. Well, I loved I didn't... S s this came out by itself. All my cards did. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I did. Stay safe, be beautiful, and be blessed. And join our group, the Meditators. Boom be together. Okay, now this is your just an extra just to perk you up and to know that I'm thinking of you and that you're in my healings and my prayers. So have a look with mm, at this video and perhaps revert back to the yearly video and compare each month.
because the energy has shifted. Nobody saw the COVID coming, only that there were big changes coming. Okay, take care, God bless and be blessed. Please share and like the video and I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Ciao ciao.